Welcome back to another edition of Precision's Fly of the Week. Today we're going to tie Lance Egan's Frenchie. Hook I got on the vise is a fulling mill 5045 jig force. You can tie this pattern anywhere from size 12 to 16. I got a 2.5 millimeter slotted bead on this size 14 hook. We're going to add a little bit of wire, lead wire here. This is a 0 0.10. Do about 7 8 wraps. thread we're going to use is UTC 70 fluorescent orange. Lance likes to use red. For me, orange works really really well so that's what I'm going to use. You can start the thread just behind the wire wraps and then trim off the tag end. I'm going to cover up the wire. It doesn't have to be perfect. The pheasant tail will end up covering most of it. And then we're going to build a slight ramp here to help with the taper and also with the transition as we tie in the rest of the material. Tailing material we're going to use is Coq de Leon. And then we're going to tie it in right where that wet red lead wire stopped. Take it back to the bend of the hook and then trim off the excess. Next we're going to use some small ultra wire. Again we're going to tie that in right there at where the wire stopped. It's really going to help with the transition as we wrap the pheasant tail. The pheasant tail we're using is dyed gray. I'm going to trim off just the very end of the tips and then again tie it in right there at that transition. I'm going to take the thread all the way up to the bead. Prior to wrapping the pheasant tail, just to make this fly a little bit more durable, I'm going to add a little bit of Zepagep. And then we're going to actually wrap this the opposite way of the thread wraps. Take it all the way up to just behind the bead. And then tie it off. Trim off the bands. Careful not to cut your thread. And then now we're going to take this wire, and wrap it in the direction of the thread wraps. This basically counter wraps the pheasant tail and adds a little bit more durability, plus provides that segmentation. A couple wrap, wraps of thread behind the wire and in front of the wire. And adding just a little bit of tension to your thread, your bobbin here. Go ahead and just helicopter it off. And then to finish off the fly, we're going to use just a small amount of ice dub and shrimp pink. Just like any other dubbing. Less is more. And then we're just going to add that collar right up there. Then build up a slight orange hot spot. With finish. Shove off your thread. And then we're going to add just a dab of solar res bone dry to protect that whip finish and there you have it real simple to tie
super effective Euro nymphon. Thanks for watching.